curious minds. Ready to unlock the secrets of our amazing world? Let's get started. Have you ever wondered why water pours super race. fast, but honey takes forever to ooze out of the jar? It's because of a super cool property called viscosity. That's a fancy science word for how thick or thin a liquid is. Let's shrink down. Inside water, the tiny molecules are smooth and don't hold on to each other very much. They can slide past each other super easily. This creates a thin, fast-flowing liquid. This is low viscosity. But inside honey, the molecules are bigger and stickier. They love to grab onto each other and don't want to let go. This creates a lot of friction inside the liquid, making it thick and slow moving. This is high viscosity. We can test this. A marble sinks fast in low viscosity water, but super slow in high viscosity honey. But what happens if we change the temperature? Let's add some heat energy to our super slow honey. The heat gives the molecules energy to break free. They let go of each other and start moving around much faster. And look, the warm honey now has lower viscosity, so it flows much more easily. Science is so cool. You can find high viscosity everywhere, from the ketchup on your burger to the lava flowing from a volcano. And low viscosity is all around us too in the juice we drink and the water in our rivers and oceans. Viscosity is super important. The thick oil in a car's engine keeps the moving parts from grinding together. You can see high viscosity in nature too. Thick, gooey mud has a very high viscosity, making it super slow moving. So remember, viscosity is just a liquid's resistance to flowing. From thin to thick, it's all about how the molecules stick. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Tender Intellects for more such fun videos.